We're here back at the Fantasy Barbie Friday night at MLB. I've got six of my favorite plays. We got a little bit of everything for you tonight. We got some bats that have been struggling. I'm expecting to heat up tonight. What high end starting pitcher should you be rostering? A minimum price play on both FanDuel and DraftKings. And of course, my favorite play of the night. Who is it? Belly up to the Fantasy Bar and find out. Welcome in, guys. Friday edition Beers Daily Fantasy Six Pack. The weekend is here, and I've got six guys fresh off the tap for you on FanDuel and DraftKings. Thank you, as always, for stopping by and checking out the video. Now, before we get into the plays, as always, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, guys. You've been doing a great job with that. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for that. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, do that as well. Get these notifications when these videos go live. And lastly, tons of great sports betting information at scoresandodds.com slash beer make sure you click that link in the description of the video when you are done watching and go and check that out today all right let's get into it 12 games on the docket couple minor weather spots one major one may get some snow out there in colorado we avoid coors field anyway so no need to worry there let's dive into this slate here tonight all right let's start on the infield with third baseman josh donaldson of the yankees we're going to continue to work the Yankees in here. Every time we do a video, I think they are hitting that well. But Donaldson, guys swinging a good bat right now. Six hits over the last four games, four multi-hit games for him over the last nine. Very good numbers against lefties, as we know. An ISO approaching 300, a Woba over 350, and a nice 46% hard contact rate. Now, Dallas Keiko, you know, just not the same pitcher he was back with Houston has struggled with righties. A 350 Woba allowed a lot of hard contact as well at 44%. The Yankees in another good spot here tonight. Josh Donaldson, my favorite of the bunch. All right, let's get you a bat that's really been struggling. I'm expecting him to start waking up and we're gonna start tonight. Shortstop, Javier Baez of the Tigers. So started out hot with this Tigers team and it's been pretty much a zero here of late. And I think that's what you're gonna see in the ownership department as well. Nobody's gonna wanna go here and play any Tigers mainly not want to play any Javier Baez. So you get a low owned bat tonight with a ton of upside. We know this guy has a ton of power, actually leads this Tigers team in ISO. We also have great weather here in Cleveland. Supposed to be very hot here in the Midwest today. Got wind blowing out as well. So take advantage of this weather spot here. I think the Tigers, a sneaky stack here against Savali, who has struggled with righties. 355 Woba allowed, almost a 250 ISO a solid power mix as well at 38 and 47 percent of your bias i know it's been ugly gonna start waking up i think it happens here tonight at very minimal ownership all right let's get you another bat it's been struggling a bit a lot of upside here though first base from rowdy telez of the brewers so i think he'll go overlooked as well so you're looking for some low own options in tournaments Baez, telez obviously fit the bill here you also have 12 games on the docket so lots of choices for people to make. So anytime you can work in these under 5% bats with some big time upside, that's the route you want to tend to go in tournaments. Big time numbers against righties in the power department here. Obviously 290 ISO, a hard contact rate approaching 50%. Very good against the cutter. And gonna see a lot of those from Fetty, 45% of the time. That is his pitch to left-handed hitters. And ISO over 300 there as well. And Fetty, 360 Wobo allowed. 43% hard contact rate does generate a lot of ground balls here, but that hard contact rate, the power of Telez, I'm seeing a home run here tonight. We're going to call our shot. Roddy Telez, solid option, especially on Fandle at just 2,800. All right, let's get you our favorite pitcher of the night. Lots of guys on that higher end. We're going to go with Sean Manea of the Padres. Now talk about impressive. This guy pitching at a very high level, potentially a Cy Young level here of late five strikeouts in every single start this season so you're getting a solid floor there a bet you may want to look at tonight is his strikeout props 20 of them over the last two starts alone and gonna see a lot of righties in this Giants lineup that strikeout rate against righties actually higher than it is against lefties for Manea over 29 percent strikeout rate against right-handed hitters Giants have five batters projected to start with a 25% or higher strikeout rate and a big ceiling here with Manea. We've already seen 29 DraftKings points, 33 DraftKings points. That's the stuff that can win you tournaments. Love this matchup for him here tonight. And he stands out as my favorite pitching option for Friday night. All right, I promised you a minimum price play on both Fandle and DraftKings. This guy checks both of those boxes. 
outfielder Kyle Garlic of the Twins. So first and foremost, we got to double, triple check that lineup, make sure he is in there. We have him projected to start here at Roto Grinders, not only start, but hit right in the heart of that order. And it's very rare that we get a bat, especially on DraftKings with this kind of upside at minimum price to help eat up some of that Sean Manea cost other expensive bats you may want to spend up on. But Garlic, big time numbers against lefties. You know, it's a little bit of a limited sample, but even in a limited sample, these numbers, pretty impressive. 351 ISO against lefties, 384. The Woba, and that's with a BABIP under 300. So it's not been lucky. It's been actually a little bit unlucky. These numbers could be even higher. 52% hard contact rate as well. Now Lynch pitching well this year, no doubt, but there are some vulnerabilities to his game, specifically in the power department. 44% fly ball rate, 46% hard contact rate since the start of last season. Kyle Garlic, he's in the heart of that order. Tough to ignore, 2K on both sides. Cash game lock and a tournament play to save you some money here tonight. All right, it's time to take a look at my favorite play for Friday night. Before we do that, let's continue our beast of the night contest. Free to play, easy to play in this. Again, a thank you to you guys for hanging out here in the fantasy bar. You know the drill by now. All you gotta do is get in the comment section right below the video and guess fantasy points on Fandle tonight for my highest scoring hitter. Closest guest gonna win themselves a free week of Roto Grinders Premium. While you are down there, who is your favorite play tonight? Who's your favorite stack, favorite pitcher? Whatever you guys wanna talk about, but I want your beast tonight in that comment section. All right, let's take a look at my favorite play for Friday night. You know Mass, the beast of the night. All right, beast time. We're going to get you a little stack going. We're going to stay right there with Minnesota. We're going to stay in the outfield. We're going to spend some money on outfielder Byron Buxton, tonight's beast of the night. So big time price tag here and sometimes sticker shock. A big price is going to scare some people away. So I think that's what could happen here with Byron Buxton. So let's take advantage of that. But we can also take advantage of the fact this guy decimates left-handed pitchers. I mean, these numbers are absolutely incredible. These numbers date back to the start of last season. So big time sample here. An ISO approaching 400 against lefties. A Woba at almost 450 against left-handed pitching. So just a great matchup here. And you start digging into the pitches that Lynch loves to throw and all this information can be found in our plate IQ tool here on Roto Grinders. We're generally gonna throw a lot of fastball, 40%, sliders, 28%, and changeups, almost 20%. This guy mashes against all three of those pitches. 414 ISO against that fastball, 372 Woba against that slider, and a big 350 ISO against the changeup. Byron Buxton in an incredible matchup here tonight. Worth every penny, in my opinion. Kyle Garlic helps eat up some of those costs. And the Twins, a very good stack here tonight. But Buxton, my favorite play of the night, and tonight's beast of the night. All right, guys, that'll wrap us up for Friday night in the Fantasy Bar. As always, any comments, questions, or feedback, please hit me up in that comment section right below the video. Don't forget, Fantasy Points for my highest scoring hitter on Fandle for your shot at some free Roto Grinders Premium. Give me your beast of the night in the comment section. And don't forget to hit that like button if you have not already. For rotogrinders.com, I am Beer saying salut, guys. Best of luck here tonight. Have a great weekend. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back on Monday with six more plays. Make sure you subscribe, get notified. Good luck, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you. Hey, thanks for checking out our videos. If you want more expert advice on DraftKings, FanDuel, or any other daily fantasy sports, make sure you check out the current videos playlist.